welcome back. Here uh, we're gonna paint the horns with denim stone and wear it down a bit because well we need detail to stay there. Denim stone is a bit of uh, it's an old paint, a foundation paint as they were called. And uh, but you can find the equivalent paint with the in the chart from Games Workshop. I, I don't know the name right now. I'm sorry, sorry I didn't do the research. Uh, and yeah, you want to dilute it well so that you keep the details uh, well defined because we're going to uh, go over with the dry brush to get the effect of the uh, the little lines that seem around there. I don't know how they're called. But yeah. For this and from since I've been working with the uh, with the details, I'm using a detail brush. Uh, now I'm painting the the eyes with corn red. I diluted it a bit too. You can watch me struggle a bit, I think, but it came out all right. You just need a brush that has a a good tip and paint it as. Thusly. So at this point I think we're done with the base coats. From here on comes the interesting part. Well, yeah, which I like the most because well, it's fun to wash the miniature. And we start with Devlin Mud or, or uh, Agrax Erche, that's the new name from the for the new wash, I uh, I hear it had the uh, devil mud over the horns and the uh, gold parts and the gnome oil for the uh, metallic silver parts. Now that it's all dry, we're gonna start with the uh, Codex Gray uh, edge highlighting. This is basically they're basically just uh, drawing up some lines here and there in the places that you will see me do. So, and this is gonna give it a lot of. Uh, I think it's like a contrast. I don't know. I think it looks very well. And uh, I didn't do it with much, much, much care about any blending or anything like that. There are just highlights there are there. And maybe you agree with me, they they make the miniature stand up a bit more. They look quite interesting, I think. We're not looking for any uh, winning competition standards here, but this is good enough. For the shoulder pads you have to do lines that go from the upper part like this, like so. Uh, don't worry about them to be very very fine although you, you are you are looking forward to do that but as you can see I am just making lines with a shaky hand you don't have to have very very good pulls, pulse to, to do that better already I think I 
I think it's the part most uh, time consuming of all, but it's better than uh, working with a colored marine like blue, let's say uh, an ultramarine, you, you have to make blue color transitions to make it look uh, very high standard marine. Uh, the thing with the black is if you try to highlight it like, like the other colored marines, you'll end up with a gray gray miniature instead of black which I struggled a lot believe it or not even though this seems simple enough I just recently discovered that this is the best way for me to paint black legion you you may not agree with that because well it's okay you to each of to each his own uh, this may not be the best way to play to paint Black Legion for you. You may prefer the airbrush or some other colors. This is just my way of doing it. I'm trying to share it with you. See if it can give some insight. Help the ones who don't know. Don't make the many same mistakes that I, as I did. <laughs> Of course, if you take your time doing this with a lot more care, you can achieve better look, a better looking miniature. Because uh, I was struggling a lot with the camera angle in my painting because I've never done this before, and you have my respect, all of you who post uh, tutorials for painting miniatures. It's you get to get the hang of it. Now I'm painting the eyes, and this is Wasdaka Red, one of the new layer paints. And I'm applying just to the front half of the of the lens of the marine, and I'm gonna go over it with the uh, squeak orange. I think it was the name, yeah. And uh, just put a little a little dot just in the front of the, of the lens, so that you can get the uh, like a transition, but not really. It's just three paints over each other. And the part where I struggle the most is the white dot, the little white dot that suggests the reflections of, of lens. When you do it right, it looks it looks very very nice, but it's so hard. Even after a year of, a year of trying it, I'm still struggling with it. And I don't know if you can ever master that. But yeah, there we go. Now I'm using the glaze medium and the iron breaker uh, paint to highlight the, the silver parts. Uh, just hitting the areas more that are more raised or that you want to accentuate. Just not just so that they they are not so dark. Or you can leave it like that if you're not looking for a, an even greater standard. This miniature could be already finished if you want a uh, tabletop standard it's looked very good I don't know if you agree let me know in a comment what do you think but yeah I'm trying to get the race edges and the uh, like this spike just the, the tip of it and around it leaving the wash wash parts recess in recess in, uh, in the black null oil Go. 
I'm painting the bolts are separate from the miniature. I don't know if you saw the a little bit of the video where I showed the bolter. Um, but it's quite simple. I'm, I just uh, base coated it black and painted it all on silver on the lead belcher, and then, as you will see, a uh, dry brush with the iron breaker too. Now, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.